We're at war with the most dangerous enemy that has ever faced mankind in his long climb from the swamp to the stars. And it's been said if we lose that war and in so doing lose this way of freedom of ours, history will record with the greatest astonishment that those who had the most to lose did the least to prevent its happening. Well, I think it's time we ask ourselves if we still know the freedoms that were intended for us by the founding fathers. Not too long ago, two friends of mine were talking to a Cuban refugee, a businessman who had escaped from Castro. And in the midst of his story, one of my friends turned to the other and said, we don't know how lucky we are. And the Cuban stopped and said, how lucky you are. I had some place to escape to. And in that sentence, he told us the entire story. If we lose freedom here, there's no place to escape to. This is the last stand on Ghost Rider, shout out to V-City Productions. Uh. Dear Lord, show me what I'm living for I'm out here struggling while knocking on heaven's door What is my purpose? I feel lost Not to mention all the pain that's hidden beneath the surface I done shed so many tears and put my fist through the wall Let my anger get the best of me, I stumble and fall It's like I'm living but the people ain't paying no attention They just looking at me funny when your name gets mentioned Know the enemy's a liar, he's all on my back Steady trying to make me doubt where my faith is really at I just shake him off and I get back in the word Gotta feed my spirit daily Cause this life is absurd We got kids going hungry Pants fiending for the next high Needles in their arms Just waiting to die I'ma pray for the world Cause I can tell that it's lost Do my best to show love And just point them to the cross Thing we call life, it's known to get hard. Never easy when you're broken, full of battle scars. You see, I've been down with no way out, but I kept my faith strong and got rid of the doubt. Now I'm living proof as I stand in this booth. That God got a plan for every one of his troops. I done been to hell and back, felt the fire and all. So when the Lord came knocking, I just answered the call. First he broke me down, then rebuilt me with a new spirit. Put me in position for the people to hear it. There's power in my lyrics, that's a gift I've been given. So I'ma spit them, bring the truth to anybody who listens. I will never be ashamed of the Lord's name. And I will never go back to my old ways. You see, I did what so many are afraid to do. I just took it all to God and he brought me to the truth. Uh. Cleartechnology.com or .net, one of those. These are 12 futuristic forms of government. It might sound frightening, but first let me give you a little list of the forms we have now. now I don't know how many of you use Bing but I would suggest you start using it since they give you these. Um, I don't know, I just find it very convenient and stuff like that. Many different choices. Uh, people, they do have people paying to put their websites up at the top. So be careful of that. You might have scumbags buying the number one spot. So we're looking at socialism first for a very good reason. Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, and Bernie Sanders. That's right, folks. They're all socialists. All socialism is... It's, it's socialism and capitalism with communism and fascism 
all tied in one. Let's see the very definition of this. A variety of social and economic systems characterized by social ownership and democratic control. Economic systems characterized by social ownership and democratic control of the means of production as well as the political ideologies, theories, and movements that aim at their establishment. You folks do know who the establishment is, don't you? Here, you got them all put together, all right? Let's go with, uh, with the next one would be, uh, so, you know, you morons are voting for socialists, number one. And for those of you who say socialism is okay, we're not done yet. Now, fascist, this is what Hitler was. He was a fascist socialist. He was what you would call today a neo-conservative. He was a neo-Nazi. And not all Nazi is, is short for Ignatius. Um, and Nazi was a term meaning sheeple or stupid, okay? Stupid is what it meant. Nazi meant you're a bumbling, stumbling, moronic fuck who takes orders. That's what a Nazi is. Go look it up. It comes for the word Ignatius, which then the opponents of these scumbags, the people, came up with Ignaz, which is shortened to Nuts, E, Nuts. Okay. An authoritarian and nationalistic right wing system of government and social organization. That would be these three authoritarianism, totalitarianism, and dictatorship. Now, capitalism. Capitalism and socialism are somewhat opposing schools of thought in economics. The central arguments in the socialism versus capitalism debate are about economic equality and the role of government. Socialists believe economic inequality is bad for society and the government is responsible for reducing it via programs that benefit the poor free or subsidized health care, social security for the elderly, higher taxes on the rich. On the other hand, capitalists believe that the government does not use economic resources as efficiently as private enterprises do, and therefore society is better off with the free market determining economic winners and losers, i.e. The bankers know what they're doing, so let them do it. And then that traitor scumbag Attorney General Eric Holder says the banks are too big to jail. Uh, well, how about chopping off the fucking head of the CEO then? He'll send a message to the ones under him. How's that? Fucking piece of shit. Theocracy, a system of government in which priests rule in the name of God or a God. go. You want to watch Wikipedia too, because uh, they're starting to lie now. But here we go, a form of government in which a deity is recognized as the king or immediate ruler, and his laws are taken as the statute book of the kingdom, these laws being visually administered by a priestly order as his mistress or and agents as his ministers, ministers, excuse me, and agents. Hence, loosely, a system of government by a, I don't even know what that says, something order, claiming a divine commission. I mean, either way, you can, you can listen to a fucking guy believing in, uh, what is this, fucking Star Trek? That's right, Nick Gumpoop. Government is a form of government. 
And that's what it is. A government's the system by which a state or community is controlled. Okay. Here you have everybody's favorite. Just about every scumbag president read this man's books. Karl Marx, Marxism. A method of socioeconomic analysis originating from the mid to late 19th century works of German philosophers Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels that analyze class relations and societal conflict using a materialistic interpretation. In other words, they use the people against them. They use the people's own woes and, and pitfalls in society and they use it against them for their benefit. Capisce? And Marxism ties in the same thing with socialism, communism, Marxism, fascism, socialism. So you see how they all start tying together? We got a lot more. Power in the hands of a small ruling class. That would be an aristocracy. Authoritarianism strong central power, and limited political views. Authoritarianism. Democracy. Government by a whole population. In other words, this side was louder than this side. You win. Then you got monarchy. Constitutional monarchy absolute monarchy and it, it's pretty much just they're all the same uh, when uh, pretty much somebody rules from 13 years old let's say you know a pharaoh or something and they rule until death or whatever and this is a good one plutocracy form of oligarchy defines a society ruled by the small minority of wealthiest citizens. Tell me we ain't living under it now. So we're already living under a bunch of these right now. Oligarchy is just one family. Cyclical. And then you got dictatorship, which I think we all know what that is. Simple terms, except for what we really are. And that is a republic. That's right, folks. We are all Republicans. We're not Americans. The South Americans are Americans. The Native Americans are Americans. We are Republicans. You moron. And what is a republic? And organized with a form of government in which power resides in elected officials representing the citizen body and government individuals exercise power according to their rule of law okay so every one of these including democracy and socialism they all lead to the same damn place Which is against this book right here, which doesn't mention the word democracy once. In fact, it says anybody speaking badly, more or less, anybody speaking badly about this book or its founders, chop their head off. High treason, the only crime, by the way, mentioned in the Constitution. I don't think that's a coincidence. Yeah, yeah. Their their term is to uh, preserve, defend, and uphold the Constitution. Whereas mine is read it, respect it, represent it, demand it. You look through this fucking book, folks. Sixty pages, and you won't believe some of the shit you read in here. Some of the power that you have. You have no idea. 
become back in law on that note. Because I already know. Folks ever heard of the Commonwealth of Nation? Intergovernmental organization of 53 member states that were mostly territories of the former British Empire. The Commonwealth operates by intergovernmental consensus of the member states, organized through the Commonwealth Secretariat, and non-governmental organizations organized through the Commonwealth Foundation. This is what you folks would call a one world government. They already have it. I told you every single fucking country on this planet is involved. Except for two, Iran and Syria. If you see anyone, the presidents love doing this one. It doesn't stand for the Texas Longhorns. No, not the Chicago Bulls. If you turn their logo upside down, uh, well, you go and tell me what it is. Folks, I'm going to show you some videos that you need to see. It's fucking easy peasy Japanesey. Is fucking folks, you mean to tell me out of 300 million people, every single election we get the choice of the same handful of people? I wonder what government that is. Well, nevertheless, they all lead to the same place. The destruction of this country, which is underway. So you need to snap the fuck out of it. And especially after watching these videos, I'm going to show some videos about all this shit. And then I'm going to do later on, I'm going to do some voting fraud videos for all of you idiots out there who are still voting. But hold your horses, folks, because we haven't even gotten to the 12 futuristic forms of government. The first one being a newocracy. We'll get into them all in a different video. I need to calm the fuck down. God bless and carry on.